it is probably the most common parasitic infection in fish. The parasites, Ichthyopterius multifilis, is capable to cause huge mortalities in very short amount of time. So prevention and early detection is the most effective measure to control this disease from spreading. The optimum temperature for it to complete the life cycle is around 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Warmer temperature will be challenging for them to reproduce and infection will not occur in cold temperature. White spot disease is considered as ectoparasites because eye multifilis is burrowed under the mucus of epithelium cells in the fish gills or skin to complete the life cycle. Due to the mucus layer covering the parasite, it is hard to treat and will continue to develop an infected other host. One of the ways to prevent the entrance of it into new pond is to stock new fish after three days of filling new filtered water into the pond. This may allow the juveniles ick from wild fish, which may accidentally enter the pond, to die before they could reach the new host. Quarantine new batch of fish in other systems prior to introducing them to the pond is also a recommended way to prevent any unwanted ick to mix with all fish in the pond. So, how does it work for ick to colonize the fish and spread the disease? Here I will show you the life cycle of our parasite ick. When the parasite leaves the infected fish, it is generally known as tomon. This tomon will attach to the other substrates in the water and form a thin wall cyst. Inside the cyst, the tomon will divide into many small cells in within 18 to 24 hours, which is called tomites, and release into the water. Then the tomites will elongate and become theron and swim to find the new host within one day. Once they have found the host, which is fish, they will penetrate the fish epithelium and become trophons within 4 to 7 days and feed on the host cell to survive. And the cycle will start all over again. However, if Theron fail to find a suitable host, they will die in within 1 to 2 days. So this is why you need to wait until 3 days after you fill in the water in your culture system before stocking new fish. This is to kill any unwanted ick in the water unless if you treat the water with UV prior to entering your system, then it will be fine. The presence of ick can be distinguished by the white speck on the skin that look like salt sprinkle. In some cases, Ick infected fish can be observed to scratch their body on objects or pond substrate. Their mucus will slouching of their skin, which indicates the disease is in severe condition. Sometimes it can only be observed on the gills but not on the skin. Hence it can only be monitored when the fish is dying.